is up everyone? So today is a massive day. Brian, come here. Come and share the excitement with okay. me. I'm so here. today Excited. is the first time that Nissanda is hitting the track. It's shown to be good so far, but this puts it to a whole different level. Making a car like street worthy and making a car track worthy is just too completely different monuments so yeah sideshow things and full track things a little bit different you guys have seen it but i have been working on that car an unfathomable amount the last couple of weeks to get it to this point and i have high hopes and high expectations so we'll see how it does so the real question today is was it worth making a honda civic into a drift car yeah i think uh today we'll have the answer to that question it's a private day here at thompson motor speedway so it's uh it's quiet, it's nice, we'll have a lot of uh, seat time, we'll have a lot of hands-on time, so. Uh, it's 120 degrees. So a huge shout out to Lock City, huge shout out to Thomas Motor Speedway for today, and uh, it's gonna be a hot one. But let's shut up and let's just get right to it. Yeah. Well, I didn't show this on camera yet, but yesterday I kind of got the body together, which is really cool. This is the first time we've seen the car with both bumpers on. I got some, look at these. They look so good. Um, we already have some pre-drift damage. This wasn't me, this was from the previous owner. I think that was a fire hydrant. This actually happened in reverse, I was told. Yeah, that's what he told us. He uh, painted this side skirt. This one isn't the painted one. Oh, oh the wait. other side is Okay, yeah. let's check that out. Check this out, I did this yesterday. Oh yeah, Brian Hall who? Wow, not Finally bad. has both side skirts and then we have a bumper. That's the first time the With a nice key on. This just impacted on. Cross your fingers. Full send. It looks so good. So, uh, man. It looks like a real car. I can't believe we can kind of just go out there right now. Yeah, go, drive it. Woo! All right, let's get the GoPros. I apologize for the rear view mirror. I think I got unbolted. I might try and unbolt it later. But, man, I am so nervous. I literally have no idea what to expect. I don't know if it's gonna understeer, be too snappy, be too slow. Who knows, but we're about to find out real quick. so right at the same time. What do you think, Shabby? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It felt crazy. It, it was, was like, so weird. It, I was expecting, honestly, for you to spin out at least once. Yeah. And it didn't happen. This is a crazy angle. It looks like you got good control on it, too. It's I feel actually, like you're not going fast enough either. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to feel the yeah, car out. Yeah, yeah. But like, for like the first two laps, dude, like, I was kind of underdoing it, and I was like, man, this thing wants to be swung. And I'm like, you got to swing like a big body is car. Is staying cool? It's staying cool and like cooler than a 240 wood, yeah. You can't hear this thing no, at, all. at all. Let's let's see if any fluids went anywhere. Oh, we're clean, baby. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's good for the long. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was fine. Driver's really out there. My knee hit the key and turned it off. That's an easy fix. Yeah, All right, well, we need to switch this to a push start. The intake every time, so we get hot, um, which we kind of expected. There's a lot of heat underneath this bay. I'm down to put some hood vents on this thing, like classic hood vents. 
It's time for you to just take the hood off for the day. Yeah. Well, I gotta figure out that, that entry. Because it, it, like, these are grippy tires. And like, yeah. I'm happy it has grippy tires because it kind of helps you like beat on it a little bit harder. But it's also not 400 horsepower. Yeah, yeah it doesn't make that much power. So, um, I tried third. It didn't really work. I tried second. I just gotta go faster and swing harder, I guess. But I'm trying to be a little bit conservative because it's first time out. But, shake down, man. I got it. Hey, Josh. There's no Wave. sound on your phone. Wave. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to suck. Be at work, little bitch. <laughs> so I logged that last run just to see what the, was going on with the car. And, uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise, it made 3 PSI. What? Yeah. How much? 3 PSI. That's all you are making? That's all I was making, yeah. Right. I don't know. Jimmy O2, that's right. Woo! <laughs> 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 Wimpy ass waist case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about about uh, three, three to four psi. So, uh, the intake air temps are getting a little high, which is to be expected, uh, but we can fix that later on. But uh, seems pretty happy to me, so I can't complain. All right. That's a nice break. Uh, Limited edition. Nobody got those. Yeah, misprint. <laughs> I'm just way too freaking excited. I cannot believe how smooth that feels. This car has got so much grip it doesn't make sense because that chassis don't have a lot of grip. Mm. I'll get it dialed with this power. I'll turn it up a couple PSI and this thing will just rage. Yo, that loved reverse. That looked so good. That looked good? Yeah, it looked I'm, awesome. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. I really was wanted this car to be something I wanted to drive, not because it was like cool and different, but because it actually drove well. And I think it's, uh, I think we're at that point. Feels good. Feels real good. Everything feels tight. Everything feels right. I'm just gonna let this thing cool down. We gotta put like a bitch in a little like, turbo vent here or something. Yeah, I think it needs one. carry more speed in reverse and that's why the Civic really likes it and plus like going up the hill oh you look dude. great over there dude I know it doesn't look that sideways on camera but I am I am swinging this thing it, it looks dude it looks awesome dude oh my I it looks like you're doing this with no effort dude it 
it's working. It feels so freaking. What do you think? Come on, you took it. You're the I first said, test drive. It's it drives really well. It feels it does like I rode in the E30 last time you mm -hmm. brought it. It feels a lot like the E30. Right? It's so I, it's crazy because usually the downfall with S chassis is that they don't have a lot of side bite, right? So like you'll flick it really hard and it'll, they'll kind of like ungrip a little bit and you have to be sketchy. You have to be like kind of conservative when it comes to uh, transition and entries. With this, I could hug it into an entry and never lift on the throttle. Like it kind of has like that BMW style of driving, which is like. The best thing will be uh, the maybe best that's thing an S chassis could feel like. Maybe that's all BMWs are. It's a mix of Hondas. And yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, the, the the corrections we did on the control arms in the rear definitely noticeable. So man, I it's good. Dude, once you're ready to throw 810 psi in there, oh, this you're gonna be golden. Oof. This is gonna be your new S13. Watch out, dude. I can't. You look really good out there, man. It, it looks it feels, awesome. It feels amazing. Might have to make a little uh, cut out there. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not even mad about it. We need a new rear bumper, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I think you might have to go. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah, the muffler's like up in the back. It's of so the good. Bumper. I am scared. You got uh, the sweaties, dude. Has this track. Look at that tan line. Ah. Ah. GoPro's dead, but let's go have some fun. Got it. thing it feels unreal the more I drive it the better it feels it is like my expectations were here and I thought they were high and the car is just up here I, literally surprising me so much and I couldn't be happier and this is with it like making such crap for power that it's only uphill from here I mean we didn't even adjust the suspension do anything and it's still just it's too good
saying the same thing, but man, the more I drive this thing, the better it gets. I'm so happy, like, to put in so much work. Like, I know you guys see a lot of work on camera, but I work on this car off camera probably just, just as much, if not more. Like, the amount of time I have in this thing, for it to, you know, really, I guess, pay me back in the sense of just being in a great car, it's just, feels amazing and we just scratched the surface like I keep saying like, I am so proud of this thing you have no idea this ain't no burnout car show car this is a this is the driver this is a real driver <laughs> but I've been beating the crap out of this thing for a little bit so uh let's park her check everything over and make sure everything's all good what do you think dude so smooth right yeah you look so good dude if that's four psi this is gonna be just saying the sound has got some oh, high dude, expectations it's here. just getting better and better huh dude i can't wait to see you crank this thing up and neither can i all right let's go drink some water before i pass out <laughs> So, event is over, caught us off guard a little bit, but I can tell you what, I got plenty enough laps in today to feel more than, more than happy. This was amazing. Nothing broke. You're satisfied? Dude, hell yeah, nothing broke. We, we definitely need a shift boot because it, it spits a little bit of training fluid out the shift there, which could be expected. <laughs> Besides that, I mean, up the boost, keep the car together and play with the alignment a little bit. I think it's ready to really, uh, really hold its, hold its stuff down. What do you think? I know, so Brian was raging all day on, in his car. My so. car broke, I was gone for an hour buying a new axle, but we got that fixed and I raged the rest of the day. So I was super happy with that. I'm, I'm like more curious to know how you feel. Like, I know, he didn't even get a ride along in it because he was doing I didn't doing even get in the car! It's not, it's not my fault. He was, no, no, yeah. I was driving all day. But you were I, killing was, it I was watching him drive from the sideline, just clapping my hands, stoked as ever. Uh, I, I just, I wanna know like more about how you feel. How do you think today went for the car, for a, a, a custom car that we built in your garage? So it's, it's at the beginning of the year. So this is the thing, right? So we expected it to feel like a 240. That was the goal, right? And it does. It feels like a really dialed 240 because everything feels new, everything feels tight. It, it might not look like, I know that we watched a couple clips and the car doesn't look that sideways in clips, but I'm telling you like, I am swinging this thing in it whips around so smooth so predictable i can really let it bite and what's crazy is the big downfall with s chassis in terms of like in terms of like more stockish forms because there's ways to correct everything um they don't have a lot of side bite right like they tend to unload ungrip and they're get a little wishy-washy rear grip that rear rear grip that is that's what that's why i like about the bmw so much is they have so much side bite that you could huck them as hard as you want yeah. all the time and it always takes it and this thing has all the side by in the world i can throw this thing as far as i want it takes it it loves it it just feels right at home so to answer the big question of the day was it worth converting my civic to real drive yes <laughs> i mean that was what we were always worried about is is it is it gonna work of course he would do burnouts and do rear wheel drive things, but was it worth it? But would it actually be right. a good platform? So now it's time to make this thing all pretty. I think it's just time to get out of the heat. Yeah, okay, so you guys know the deal. Go on the web store, buy a t-shirt, shop Jimmy.com. Wait, 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 what? Give, him a, give him a preview, let oh, him know what's coming. Shit. Stay tuned. So you guys know the deal, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Give me this and be, peace, good night.